Grace parts and roll with heart and pride well Learning is always fulfilled Endless battles test our wills Forevermore we make our pact All hail the group of hills Welcome back Spartans, I'm Lynn Tollison And I'm Derek Beeman And you're watching Spartan TV! Man, time sure is flying by. Can we believe we're already in our last eight weeks of school? Finally! I can't wait to be over with this year. I'm already thinking of the fun stuff we'll do this summer. Going to the beach, hanging out with my friends, sleeping in. Sounds like fun. Good luck sorting out all of your fun possibilities. Uh, I do gotta sort out all my plans. It's not that hard. Kind of like the way our school district is taking better care of our environment and all we have to do is sort out our trash. Check it out. Recently, the Fontana Unified School District implemented a new method for sorting out our trash on our campuses. In your school, you'll be able to find a gray, brown, and blue bin. In the gray bin, you should dispose of any recyclable plastics like condiment packets, empty fruit cups, or plastic bags. In the brown bin, you should dispose of any excess or leftover food that you didn't eat. In the blue bin, deposit of any plastic bottles, milk cartons, or aluminum cans. If you happen to have leftover liquids in your bottles, deposit the excess at the pour away station. Next time you're eating lunch with your friends, make sure to throw away your trash according to the bins to help promote recycling and proper waste disposal. It's about time we got with the program. Other countries have been doing this for decades. I'm glad we're doing this now. It's to make sure we organize our trash correctly. I think we can all do our part and make a positive difference. It's not that hard. Definitely not as hard as track and field. That takes a lot of focus, dedication, and effort. Here are some upcoming dates to keep you informed so you can come out and support our track and field team. Matter of fact, we have a home meet against Rialto High School right after school. Come on out, Spartans. Mickey got a chance to talk to a senior on the track team. Let's check it out. Welcome back to another Spartan Senior Spotlight. Today I'm here with Andrew Frias, and he is a thrower on the track team. Hello. Okay, so why did you join track? I joined track because it caught my eye and it's something that interested me and it's something that I wanted to try out and learn how to do. Out of all the events that there is in track, why do you choose to be a thrower? I chose to be a thrower because I don't like running and I like the competition of throwing to see who throws the farthest. My advice for underclassmen is to, if you really want to join track and be a thrower, you need to be dedicated and go out there, practice every day and learn new things and just stay on top of your grades so you don't get grade cut. Well, that's it for today's Spartan Senior Spotlight. Bye. Good job out there, Andrew. Speaking of track, they have a meet April 4th against Hillcrest High School. Don't miss it. Watching all this running is making me feel exhausted. Let's take a break. We'll be right back, Spartans. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Ms. Hensley and I am back with your ASL signs for the week. This week's focus is the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Don't forget about your expectations, Spider. To be accountable, to be respectful, and, and say! <gasps> Oh guys, I finally talked to my dad after going to live with my mama. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. Como se siente tu papa? Wait, what are you guys saying? I don't know. Are you dumb? It's not that hard. She was asking if my dad's okay since I moved with my mom. Hey, but don't sweat it though. Like, some of us aren't privileged enough to learn Spanish, but I'm sure you'll learn one day, but me and Mia have to go to class, so... Because I got it any worse. Hey, what's going on? You seem upset. I mean, I just feel like an idiot. My, no one taught me Spanish growing up, and now all my friends are making fun of me for it. 
Hey, don't worry, I got you. We can learn a little bit at a time. Well, you can start by listening to the song. It'll get you familiar with the language. Welcome back, Spartans. What a better way to return than to highlight what our TV3 students are doing. Didn't you interview Nathan Osagura from TV3 about his career spotlights? Yeah, I did. It was great to hear about his creative process. So I created the Career Spotlights because once we go through school, like through elementary to all the way to high school, um, teachers and mostly parents give us th this thought that we're supposed to have like, what career do you want to go into? Like, do you want to grow up being a fireman? Do you want to grow up being a doctor, an archeologist? Some kids are not exactly going to have uh, an idea of what they want to do after school and that's completely fine. So I give these careers out so then it gives them some freedom and some choice to see if like does this align with them and if it doesn't that's perfectly fine because there's like thousands of other careers that we can go into are you interested in specializing in treating patients that have cancer or tumors then becoming a radiation therapist might be the profession just for you my favorite moment is in a marine biology one and it's just a bunch of fish jokes and stuff or spongebob references as I mostly like to reference a lot of stuff in my videos to basically sort of connect to our audience. Are you ready Spartans? I can't hear you. Oh forget it. I'm sure you're not singing along anyway. So for today's career spotlight we're diving under the sea to explore the career of marine biology. He sure is dedicated to his craft. Right? I'm excited to see what other careers he will highlight in the future. But for now let's get into some announcements. Seniors and juniors, you only have one week left to purchase your prom ticket from the ASB Bookkeeper. Prom is April 13th, which also happens to be our senior producer's birthday, and attendees must meet at the school to check in and get on the buses. Don't forget to turn in those permission slips and get any off-campus guest or an underclassman. They must be approved before buying your ticket. Speaking of prom, bus sign-ups will be held April 9th and 10th. You must have your permission slip turned in before signing up. Seniors, if you'd like to be a part of the exclusive build a experience on April 17th, be sure to pre-order with the ASB Bookkeeper. Cost is $40 or $35 with an ASB card. If any freshmen, sophomores, or juniors are interested in taking on a more leadership roles or even want to become more involved with school activities, consider becoming a part of ASB. Applications are open on Teams and the ASB website. Sophomores and juniors, if you're looking to get involved and help our incoming freshmen get connected with our school, then you'd be happy to know that Link Crew is looking for next year's leaders. Applications are now open and due April 5th. Well, Spartans, that's all the time we have for you today. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make it a great day, Spartans. You, you deserve, deserve it. it.